Kirby Smart has been one of the most successful coordinators in all of college football under Nick Saban, so it only makes sense that some of Saban's terminology is following Smart here to Athens. I've been tweeting with Georgia fans for the last two days about this decision. You would think it would be a little polarizing, but it seems to be that it's a mass majority that they don't support Greg McGarrity's decision. And if you wanted to see Corey Grant from Opelika, you had to look fast. One Auburn player couldn't even get through two days of fall practice without complaining that he didn't have his pads and he was ready to hit somebody. Earlier in the week, safety Rudy Ford said it wouldn't be that difficult to stop Leonard Fournette. Yeah about that. Tonight it is Auburn versus Kentucky. The Tigers looking to get their first SEC win of the season. But after dealing with a rough week, especially on Thursday when rumors were flying around about dysfunction on the coaching staff. So the patrons are wondering if a player that they're watching now in practice will be the one that wears the green jacket. So this week's challenge was to learn their celebration dance. Draw A! Draw A! A Glenwood baseball coach Tim Fanning helped start the More Than a Game Foundation. They load up backpacks just like this one right here and some sporting bags, and they share their love of baseball with the rest of the world. Three men are watching how their favorite game continues to change lives around the world. Joey Lewis and Coleman Duke played high school baseball around Columbus. Tim Fanning is the baseball coach for the Glenwood Gators. I'm mean, watching this now. I know all the kids' names. Right. I know who they are. Now. That's cool. Through the More Than a Game Foundation, they've all gone on mission trips to Central America, South America, or Africa to give baseball supplies to kids who don't have them. It's definitely humbling just to see what they have and how happy they are with having it and how much they, they still want to give you for helping them out. And we take so much stuff for granted here. And they never know what little gestures will have a lasting impact. That last. That's still there. Is it? Yeah. The same one? The same one. <laughs> wow. We go on these trips to give and to help other people out, but it always seems that you come back with more than you left with. Like, they always teach you something that you'll never get rid of. Joey Lewis became an intern with More Than a Game, staying back and living in Columbia to continue their mission. He wants to help kids realize new dreams. I've had. 30, 40 bats in my baseball career and I give them one of my old bats and they just are so happy. It's a new Christmas for them. Tim Fanning knows how to have success in baseball. He just led Glenwood to their 21st state championship, but as a founding partner of more than a game, he knows winning goes well beyond a scoreboard. For two years, he built relationships and prayed for more sponsors. And in January, an executive from Lids Team Sports told him they were ready to donate. It's like, all right, that's great. Then he asked me how much room we had. I didn't know what that meant. And I surely didn't know that it meant all of this. So, I mean, you're talking, you know, 20 something pallets of brand new. It's over $330,000 worth of brand new equipment. And the equipment is top of the line, high dollar baseball gear. This is the same stuff that our kids go to Dick's and, you know, spend $300 on. He also struck a deal with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Their equipment manager after spring training always sends a, uh, a big shipment. Uh, to us, uh, guys that um, you know they're done at spring training. They always leave their their cleats and their shirts and their you know uh, batting helmets, things like that. More than a game has been to Colombia twice, Panama three times, the Dominican Republic twice, Cameroon once, and they're going to Jamaica this summer. They're sharing baseball and creating leaders. And that's why it's more than a game because it's not just about the baseball. It's about trying to provide um, a better life for a child, you know, whether that's through a pair of socks or a hat or a hug or a Bible, you know, that's our goal. Their work really has changed some uh, kids' lives. Last summer, we introduced you to Jose Mercado and Mateo Porras, two kids they met in Colombia, and they came back to America, played summer league baseball in Phoenix City last year. Now, they're playing college baseball for Laney Community College in California. Terry Godwin just turned 19 years old a few weeks ago, right in the midst of becoming a man. He's already playing like a man on the field. Thanks to his energetic mother and his strong father, he's on the way to becoming a man off the field. 
This is the scene before every Georgia football game. Fans line the way, waiting for buses to deliver the beloved Georgia Bulldogs to the stadium. Among the loudest fans, a passionate mother, Olivia Goddard. She's always been a team mom throughout Little League all the way up to high school and now. Um, the teammates, they love her and she loves them. She, she's the team mom, I guess. Sort of like a second mom, second or third mom to me. and uh, She's just a really nice lady and I, mean, I love seeing her. Terry Godwin shined on the local stage at Callaway, becoming one of the country's most highly coveted recruits. His love for sport billows from him, as I found out playing basketball with him earlier this year. You ready? <laughs> that kind of laughter comes from mom, and her love for the team began with Terry's recruiting camps. I got to know the players and the families a lot, so, and when they come, it just, I just feel like they're, you know, just like sons to me, you know, all of them. They come up and they greet me just like, you know, or you guys support them when their moms are not here. So I love it. UGA! UGA! Woo! Everybody on the team knows Olivia Godwin, especially Mark Rick, who apologized to her in a news conference when he drew a blank on her son's name. That was not the only play that was that had success. We uh, between Sony um, and um, what's my man's name? <laughs> what's that? No, my Terry Godwin. Sorry, Miss Godwin. I had a brain lock for a minute. How are you? Let me get my hug. You be strong, okay? I'm very fortunate to have my mom there at every game and also my dad. So every time I see her, I hug her, give her a kiss, and uh, hug my dad as well. If his mom is Terry's energy, then his dad, Terry Sr., is his inspiration. Earlier this year, the elder Godwin was diagnosed with colon cancer. Terry was kind of worried about me. I told him don't worry about me. God has me, so I'm, I'm okay. As long as God got me, I'm okay. For me to hear him say that, I mean, it means a lot because I know he's going to fight, and that means I have to fight as well. With that being lifted off my shoulder now, it's just an easy road for me to know he's in good hands. He actually handled it very well. Being the man of the family prepared Terry for being a man on his football team, a change his parents have noticed. His demeanor, his uh, manners and everything, he, he had really grown. And that was one of the reasons going to Georgia as a mom. You know, we felt like Mark could mold Terry into a great man, a godly man. As Terry walks down life's road, they'll be there supporting him and the team he leads, even if mom is a little bit louder than dad. I can't stop her. She just, hey, she just a fan. She's a team mom. Hey. Go dogs! <laughs> that means a lot to me. That means the world because I know she's happy. I know she's having fun. And it just, I know I'm doing something special for her. We are so proud of our son. We couldn't ask <laughs> for a better child. I mean, he has made everyone want to reach for the stars. Yeah. And as long as he keeps God first, the sky's the limit. What a uh, special family. Terry really is just a perfect blend of his parents uh, on the field. He's got that energy and that flashy, that passion almost. Uh, like his mom off the field, he's more of a quiet fighter like his dad. He's only a freshman. Yeah, just a freshman and uh, already starting on the team. <laughs> wow. And there's one more family member who's passionate about sports, right? Yeah, he does have an older sister, Terriana, who is a senior basketball player, also playing uh, for the Georgia Bulldogs, and their yeah. season just got underway. All right. What a family. Yeah. Thanks for bringing him to us. Well, thanks for them having me in. I feel like a part of the Godwins now. There we go.